What is going on, everybody? Yeah, we back in Montana. Yeah, we cutting down more trees. Yeah, Mother Nature's probably getting a little ticked off with us right now. Not to mention, we are single-handedly destroying the ozone layer. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing today? Ah, uh, I would like to uh, welcome a new member of the banana tree. One, Mr. Gary Vetter, who is, the last I knew at this moment, running through this Montana series. Welcome, Gary. Glad to have you. Now, what we are going to do is cut trees, as usual. What we are going to do after that is probably make you guys sick on a time lapse. But we are going to take our pretty little stump grinder and clear the stumps up here of what we have chopped down so far. Why? Because I want to get a mower and I want to get this stuff put in that silage pit down there. I can't remember. Did we buy the uh, forage wagon yet? Negative Ghost Rider. We do not have that. Crap. Okay. Um, tree time. Well, tree loading time. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, we're also going to take care of that today. Oh. Now, I do have another video. I'm not sure which one it is. Give me one second. One of my videos did not upload properly before I left. Oh, okay. It's uh, the second video of the No Man's Land reboot. If you have not gone in to check that out, please, please, please do that and let me know what you think. Because, quite frankly, I'm thinking that's coming out just perfect. Alright, let's drop that. Oh yeah, we definitely got to take care of these stumps. It's a minefield up here. But at this moment, we need to pick up some logs. Oh, crap. I forgot I cut all of them down at the end of the last episode. Oh, I got all of them up there. I got all of them up we going to have a full trailer. Goody. Alright. Let's do this. Now, the shorter trees, we're not going to cut in half. Longer trees, I've already cut in half. Although, since I have those over there, I do not know. I can't remember if they are cut in half or not. Not gonna lie, it's been a long week already, and it's only Tuesday. You gonna work your way down to Jaws? Yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Probably have not cut them in half. If I remember correctly, I said, oh yeah, I'll just, whoops run into my trailer. No. I'll just cut them in half whenever I go to pick them up. I love when it's glued on there.
Hey, look at all the little pieces. I wonder if that's picker upperable. Small tree. Small tree cannot be picked up because apparently I am weak. Uh. Yeah, that one needs to be cut in half. I do not believe it is. Definitely not cut in half. We're going to rectify that right now, which means those other ones are not cut in half either. Boing. Don't get your head over there. Oh, you rotten piece of future paper. I believe we need a bigger weight. Thank you. Fine, I'll just pick it up with my front end in the air. Clump. Oh. I'm going to talk, but I don't honestly know what to say right now. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, my wife got me one of those uh, Fitbits, which essentially is a Tamagotchi for adults except the stupid animal that you're trying to keep alive is you so that's kinda cool although it's funny it actually tracks my arm movements and vibrations on the steering wheel of my truck <laughs> and counts them as steps so I could be sitting still and get like 15,000 steps a day <laughs> so that's kind of funny let's see if I can rattle that a little bit almost Eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, I I completely forgot that I cut these trees. Uh, is this going to be a cut and a half tree? Yeah. No, maybe not. Oh, we definitely need a bigger wing. Let's not go that way. 
Uh, okay, let's just cut the stupid thing in half. Right here. That works. Look, Ma, a telephone pole. It takes trying to close the jaws again sometimes to get it to release. That makes no sense. And the bad thing is, it's not just with this bio belt's double claw. It's with all of them. I've had to do it with the uh, uh, the ones from the CSZ pack. Ultimately, the one that I prefer is the shovel for the telehandler it's the perfect size you can pick up four and five logs at a time straps them in it's great And you don't have that problem. Although, the way a lot of these are sticking, I'm going to go ahead and at least strap the front of those. That way, if I bump the trailer, <laughs> hey, we're not going to wind up losing all of them. And I'm going to get really, really freaking mad. Why? I don't want to get mad. I'm in a good mood. My boss informed me I got a couple of extra hours of set time because my appointment's not until noon tomorrow. And I'm only four hours away from there. So... If I leave at 2 a.m. like I was planning, I'm going to get there just a little too early. If that went over, I was going to be extremely angry. Extremely angry indeed. Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. The old heads that watch this channel ought to know that one off perfectly. The young ones, yeah, go ask a adult. Yep. Ba ding. Alright, let's reset the strap. Thank you, come again. If I'm remembering correctly, there's a tree down at the farmyard that needs, uh, removed. However, we're actually running out of trees up here. Rusty Money gave me a suggestion, but while I was home looking through the mod hub, I could not find 
the greenhouse that he suggested. However, I do have some other greenhouses downloaded, so I think we might go with that route. But he had said about putting the cucumber greenhouse in. Like I said, I don't have the cucumber greenhouse downloaded, and I did not look for it. Forgot to look for it on uh, the weekend while I was home. But. Okay, that's down in. Let's go ahead and cut this one off. Choo! Ooh, that's a little longer than I expected. Eh, we still good. I'll stick with the way I always do it. Put the heavy end closer to the nose and apparently hit a tree stomp thus why when we're done with this we are coming up and taking the stumps out although if all things work out which I don't think they will quite yet but if all things work out we're going to be doing it in our very own tractor. Not a least one. <laughs> at least one that we are severely losing money on because we've already got almost six hours on this thing. And I know one of the parts that's hanging off the front, I believe it's the log grab, is also leased. Uh, really? Thank you. Let us lock them down. Everybody done shifting? Holy criminies. Now, we are going to check. Uh, oh, wow, I forgot we leased the trailer too. That's 11,000. The forest module's like two. Okay, so it's the arm itself. We own the log grab. You know, ultimately, I'm not even sure what the end, what the end game on this series is going to be. If I should just go a couple of years and see how I do, or set a goal. I mean, we're in late spring now. We're almost into summer. We'll actually be in summer in, uh, well, two and a half days. Because I'm running nine day seasons. Why? I don't know. I'm an idiot. That is a lot of weight on the tail of that thing. You see that start to tip?
Nom 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 nom. Yeah, there we go. Think I ain't gonna get all these logs on there. And pull them all down the road in a tractor that's, uh, a little need of a tune up. So let me ask you this. How many watching this video right now have taken up my no mods challenge? And if you have, how are you liking it? Because quite frankly, me, I'm hating it. <laughs> It's my challenge, and I'm hating it. I'm well. No, let me let me rephrase that. I'm not hating it. I mean, I love well challenging myself. That's why I'm on a map at this moment that not many people even do anything on. Running it in seasons, like an idiot. But seriously though, what do you think of the challenge? What do you like? What do you don't like? Uh, me, I don't like the uh, bail trailers. So if you haven't seen my video yet on it or any of my videos yet, uh, in words of River Song, and I quote, spoilers. Um, I got rid of them. Well, got rid of the bale trailer. Got rid of the round baler I had. And I'm going when I need to make silage. I put a pit in. So, I'll just fill that up. I'm not doing seasons, so as soon as I get it full, I'll be able to compact it down, get it up there, come on. I'll be able to compact it down and have my silage the next day. Come on. Roll against that arm. Ah, oh, you... Wow, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I believe I got all the actual trees from over there. Uh, yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, about five over here. The long ones are already cut down. Oh yeah, just take your time. Yeah, the reason I say we're actually almost out of trees here is because you can see where the brush line is. And you know me, I like to clear the brush line and get a actual line of my property. 
So we've got uh, probably about a half a dozen down there and maybe a dozen on the back line there. So all in all we might have two more trailer loads. For that, let's go. Night. Do that. seeing that right okay so apparently it was being held on with straps that I did not attach I don't ask questions. I mean, as long as I don't see a short little orange guy hollering at me about the trees, you know, we good. Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. Again, I'm pretty much uh, aiming to my old heads here. Come on, let go. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be uh, quite the precarious load. Not too sure if I'm going to be able to get them all on there. However, I know one thing for certain, I definitely will not be able to get the one down by the field. Because that one's going to need cut at least three times because I believe it's one of the super tall bullseye.
Yeah, so what we're going to do with the fuel tank over there... We're not going to worry too much about the fuel that's in it. Because I have... in the shop a mod that I like because of the way it looks I'll show you guys real quick and it's going to fit in perfectly with the farm down below as soon as I find it ha the diesel stand I like this I like the way it looks out here on this Missouri run that I've been doing lately I see a lot of farms with diesel tanks set up like this and actually a buddy of mine works on a farm that he's got a diesel tank set up like this and I just to me it looks great right it looks like it just belongs on the farm right I'd ask for you guys' comments in the, or yeah, opinions in the comment, but I'm actually going to be buying this here today, so if you don't like it, tough, it's my farm. <laughs> What can I say? Like I said, I'm in a good mood. It hasn't happened a lot lately, so... I'm taking full advantage of it. I don't know, just a lot of stuff's been, like, weird lately, so... Um, if some of you haven't heard, I did start a, uh, Twitch stream. A Twitch account. It is, uh, pretty much the same as, the same name as the YouTube account, except it doesn't have any spaces and it's all in lowercase letter all right it's crazy monkey gaming all in lowercase um if i can figure out how to uh crap if i can figure out how to get a link off of my twitch account and i remember i will try to uh, link that in the comments below or in the description below I mean if I don't remember to do it just uh, leave me a comment and say hey monkey you're an idiot you forgot to link your twitch account and I will uh, give you the give you the name if you wanna if you wanna support me over there. Um, that of course is all live streaming, and I am actually branching off of Farm Sim over there. I already have a. Uh, I think it's a little longer than an hour. It was just kind of a play around with uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. One of my favorite games. So, it's a little more set up adult gameplay. I mean, it's still... Eh. I guess in today's standards, it'd be considered PG-13.
but I have a lot of fun over there. Did I forget to cut this one? No, I didn't. Okay. And of course, like all my live streams, it's done mainly on, thought I could clear that, mainly on the weekends because of that being the time that I'm home. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Let's see if we can save that before it goes bye-bye. Or it gets scared and falls into the place that I actually want it. <laughs> Do we have any ideas of how much this one's going to get us? Because, quite frankly, <laughs> this is the biggest load of trees I've taken over there. And this is... A far cry from uh, uh, how we started this series 11 episodes ago. When I was literally doing this with a uh, you know what I think I can or not with a chainsaw and picking things up by hand I think it's about time we take this over. Oh, this is going to be insane. DOT's nowhere around. Oh, I'm glad I got the four-wheel drive model. ain't gonna do much because I can't put a weight on the back because the trailer goes under the weight. <laughs> it doesn't hook to it. <laughs> oh, low bridge, low bridge. Whoo. <laughs> Please sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> this is bad.
No, 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 no. Come on, come on, pop it back up there. Back off, moron. Blow your horn at me. I'll use your car to help get me back on my wheels. If I had spin room. There we go. Thank you. You know, I can leave that there for a while. Oh, crap. All right, all right, all right, all right. What was that? What was that trick that somebody somebody had said take a piece of wood that you can carry and of course I don't have access to the road Okay, for right now, goodbye. Oh, they're getting annoying. Trying to bump it enough, maybe.
I'll tell you what, folks. This might take a while, so I'm going to put this on a time lapse so you can watch all the insanity in fast motion. And at least have music instead of me just grunting and getting mad because, yeah, I'm about to take this channel from PG to R if this keeps up. See you in a couple minutes.